Hello, this video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon and my members on YouTube. Minasan, arigatou gozaimasu. My name is Kurt and this is my daily good life meditation. It's an exercise that I do every morning, a little bit after waking up. It's now 4.46 a.m. on uh, the 8th day of February 2024. I do this to remember my life objectives and principles, those which are outlined in my book, Going Alone. I also use the time to think about the last 24 hours and how I did with the challenges and opportunities that I met. I plan for the coming day and I prepare myself for death. <sighs> I'm going to just get to it to this morning. I'll skip the poem. Um, not because I want to skip the poem. It's just that I, uh, I, re I read a poem yesterday and it was, a, it was good enough to capture that and I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna, I'll skip it today. That'll be a new protocol. If I don't capture the poem, I'll skip the next day. N never mind. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little bit flustered and I'm not quite myself this morning. <sighs> I've never really felt quite like this. This is, and I've been like this for 24 hours since yesterday, about the same time. I'm just kind of like, um, I, I've told you, Miko, I said, uh, I feel a little like a kid on Christmas Eve. Can't sleep. It's, but it's not quite the same. The kid on the Christmas Eve thing is an excitement of sorts. And I feel that. It's like, um, you know what it is? It's the, it's the restless readiness. It's exactly what it is. I felt this before. Have you ever been on a ferry boat? And uh, the, the ferry boat is, maybe it comes and arrives. I remember, I remember you, Miko, when I took a ferry across to the Orca Islands in, in near Seattle. And, uh, or the, what, I can't remember what they're called, but one of them was called the Orca Islands. They're a group of islands in the Puget Sound. And I remember being on the island and we were going to go back. And the big ferry came up and motored in and we were on the dock waiting and it took it, the lines went out and then the passengers disembarked and others got on and, and then we were allowed on. It's the same feeling, waiting for the, ready to, ready to get on the ferry boat. It's like this nervous eagerness and anxiety it's the same feeling a little bit like not quite as sweet though getting ready to board an airplane to some far off interesting place just you know you know it's the, they say boarding they'll start at 15 after the hour or at uh, better yet at like the, the boarding starts at 4 50 p.m oh no, no here in la it would be more like morning like 8 8 8 50 a.m and it's 8.45, people are milling all about. There's this ready energy, ready energy, that's what it is. It's exactly what it is. It's this electrical ready energy. And it's, it doesn't have to be necessarily ready to retirement. It's ready for, for me. It's, it, and now I recognize what it is. Having this little talk with myself, fleshed it out. I'm experiencing that ready energy 10 months before the, <laughs> I leave. Well, but it's more than that because the process of the, the going for me is is just that's that's like the flight taking off there's all kinds of stuff that happens before then i think one of the things that really got me yesterday was i was walking with yumiko and i asked her if she had president's day off and she does and she remarked to me you know kurt that's my last holiday ever the way she said it was interesting because we've been counting ever since she entered the one year mark of retirement I would tease her at every holiday. I said, this is your last Thanksgiving. Oh, this is your last Thanksgiving holiday. This is your last. It all started with 4th of July. We had 4th of July holiday, and we walked from here to where the parade was happening. And as we walked, I said to her, Yumiko, this is your last 4th of July holiday. And every holiday after that, we call it the last one. And, and she said, Kurt, yesterday she said, President's Day, she said, this is my last, last holiday. And little trickles of things like that now. And they build and they contribute to this excitement, this energy that I feel now, this electricity. I wonder if I'm worthy of them. I'm worthy of that word. I wonder if I'm up to their task, if I'm up to it. I keep thinking that I'm going to get to the other side and not know what to do. I don't think that's going to be an issue. 
I need to put those concerns aside. I need to put all of them aside. And I need to burn all this down. All this edifice. I was thinking yesterday how I'm going to burn my two leaves. They're hanging over my head right here. I'll save that for another talk another time. Okay. Just a second. Good Life Creed. Eight objectives. To be always ready to die. To make good and effective use of time. To develop and maintain good and sound life principles. To cultivate good emotional reactions. To perform good actions. To recognize my true limits and true opportunities. To do just one thing at a time and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. And to keep my balance. Principles 35, war, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, nature, pirate ride, maturity, social principle, family, public speaking, temperance, life will not go well, the horror show, that which must be born, the feast of woeful, distraction, agency, and the great indifference, the best seat in the house, the restless man, the path of wildness, the great life adventure, the risk of avoiding risk, sin and damnation, complete oblivion, the season of philosophy, script writing, the bullseye, aim, the uphill climb, arena, utility, nothing is enough, the principle of fun and being ready. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, all 35. By far, that's got to be the fastest I've ever done it. Wow. My mind's sharp today. Got to make good use of it. Sharpening. <laughs> All right. As for today, it's mm, standard day. It's my last day. I get five days off after this. Five day weekend coming up. Mm. I'm just going to kick butt today. Yesterday, I was uh, in a meeting. I'm, in, I'm an IT project manager, although I'm not very IT. <laughs> So whenever I hear new te te technology across my, in a meeting, I always make a little note, and then I go back to my desk and look it up. There was a new piece of technology that crossed the vocabulary yesterday in my project. Went to take a note. Yeah, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need, I don't, I've never liked IT. I never cared about IT. I only did that because it, it helped me make me a better IT employee, but I don't care anymore. <laughs> no, no more, no more IT terms for me. Last question: Am I ready for death? Are my affairs in order? Yeah. Are my relationships sound? Yes. Is my life's work complete? Yes. I'll sign off there. I wish you all the best. Be safe, but not too safe. Take care.